Right, where are we? I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! I know, I understand that we're meant to be explorers and everything, but come on, these, like, how, these guys just really added badly just to me. Now that's all you have access. Okay. Sokar Esof. Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We use money. Uh, right now it doesn't. Uh, it's kind of true. Um, although, actually, thinking about it, how on earth do you come up with, with a galactic unit of currency? Basically, you'd have Citadel bucks. That's how you. That's the only way it would work. Um, you'd have to transfer money into that system, uh, into that into, to trade for the for the different kinds of for the different kind of money, and then you'd use that money on the Citadel. But when you went back to your home planet, you'd almost have almost certainly have to transfer it into your own. Money. I mean, look at us! Look at us on Earth! How many different currencies have we got on one planet? And, I mean, the closest thing you'd have to something like an intergalactic monetary system... Um... I... what? But the closest thing to something of that scale we've got is the Euro. And that's struggling because there's so many different cultures in it. You think about a single planet, how many cultures are on that? To have one planetary... Um, what one one kind of planetary system uh, of money, that would have a lot of issues. You basically have to have everyone agree on a singular monetary idea, monetary policy. To then extend that out to multiple planets within a system, and then the multiple systems in a sector, and multiple sectors in the entire Milky Way. How does that even work? Then again, I also have a problem in fancy games where um, all people of one race have one language. Don't think that would happen. I mean, I can, I can understand it in... Like, I can understand like the sci-fi side of having one planetary language because I assume that language, rather than being the one language on that planet, that's just the lingua franca um, that's being used... And I don't even know. I, right, right now it doesn't. It's pretty true, but I'm not sure we should go into that much detail about it. Um, just because um, I'm not sure being too open with these people, like they're being very kind of um, quiet and like playing their cards close to the chest. I think it's probably a good idea to say I think. So we'll say we use money. We pay for things with a currency called credits, abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts, made odd bargains, never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? Buy things. You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. And what do you offer? Uh, that's negotiable. It's complicated. Uh, we're working on things. It's complicated. Uh, I don't... Again... What does that mean? Is that going with the... Because I don't want to be too open about this stuff in public. So if that's saying it's complicated because we don't have anything to offer, because we're, build we're still building stuff, I don't want to say it. On the other hand, if it's saying that's negotiable, we can... I, I don't even know what we're doing. I, Because I, that could be that's negotiable because we're still building. Um... negotiable? I don't think it is. It's complicated. I can set up a meeting to arrange a formal trade agreement. Complicated. Another time. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. 
There could be trouble. Uh, why me? What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. I need some details. We might have different definitions of trouble. What do you mean? Natural hazards, wild predators, misadventure, what do you mean? Can't. Same thing. What's your supplier carrying exactly? Supplies I need, exactly. Things to keep my people alive. Essentials. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Kelvo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Okay. Right. Can I, can I examine these guys? Oh, come on! Really? Really? How how are these get? No offense, you guys, but surely like DNA samples, like bio, kind of biology, anatomy, that kind of stuff. Surely that'd be really useful. Look, it's the alien. I'm an alien. Hello. This is the moment when we find out that one of their favorite games is like a version of XCOM. You do not have access to the dead. Yes, I figured that out because I couldn't go back there. Since needs volunteers. Yeah, I mean, it looks a bit like a battleship, to be fair. Translated from Shalesh, so I assume, I assume that's that, their language. The Ket have felt the power of the resistance, and they know their end is coming. Our victories on Vold are only the beginning of what we can achieve. But we can't defeat the enemy without your help. If you're tired of living in fear, if you believe we were meant for something greater than slavery, if you're willing to stand up and fight, you'll find a new family in the resistance. We'll train you to strike back at the Ket and reclaim what is ours. The resistance defends the future of all Angara. Join us. Ooh, ba -do -ba -do. Angara and shuttle. Composed 43% hybrid metals. What? Like, bronze? Plastic compounds 30%. Refined chemical fuel 27%. This Angaran made spacecraft is capable of making extended interstellar voyages. No, I want to. I want to. I want to scan the plants. Scan the plants. All right. I think we've scanned everything we can, which is rather sad. I think that would be useful things to scan, but I assume it's like a min, like another kind of nexus type thing. Oh, I've already spoke to you. Another kind of nexus type thing. How can I not scan these plants? Is alive. I'm sure of it. Don't kill yourself bringing her home. Docking access controls, but I don't want to go no away. Promises. I'm exploring. Hello, Avalekia. Stars above. It's you. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah. This is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life. Why did you do it? To meet people like you. I don't know who this is. I know nothing about her. Um, I mean, technically, we can go back. It's just, it'll be... It'll have been 1,200 years. And I'd have to go back in one of the arcs. So, basically, it'll be a completely different area. Uh, for the initiative. Adventure, naturally. To meet people like you. The thing is, if that weren't a romantic option, it's like, it's to meet new people. New, new species and explore. Um, but we, no adventure naturally. I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajawa, curator for the repository of history. A historian. We study relics of our past. Try to piece together what we lost in the scourge, and. The truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? Uh, not much. I still have a lot to learn. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. 
A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. Does Ephra know about this? I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know, and if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. It takes guts to stand up to him. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. Uh, and she said what she's explained by me, so yeah, I'll take a look. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. For history! Oh, that's just another shuttle. In case you come this way first. Which seems a bit silly, really. I had human. I had human. I assume it was me. Enro Bos Bosan. I'm here to assist. I am Enro Bosan, assistant to Governor Paranshai. You're free to explore this area, but the city is off limits. Until that changes, I'll be your liaison. How may I help you, Pathfinder? Uh, Jal. Sounded like you and Jal know each other. Our families are related. You sound nothing alike. We have multiple worlds. Our culture is complex. I'd like to know more. Earn our trust and maybe you will. Our culture is complex. You, wait, do you have multiple worlds and they all have the same culture? Really? <sighs> Thanks for your time, Enro. <sighs> of course. Not how it's not how anything works. Rider, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. That was quick. Let's go. Your ship is. <laughs> we have nothing like it. Where do you see the inside? <laughs> it gets better. Oh yeah. You ready to go? Uh, I think so. I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought I'd be walking across, but clearly not. Thinking about it, that's terribly designed. There is no support on the front when it's landed. Because it's basically it's got like the two legs down from the wings, I think. And then it's got the central point, the kind of well, no, the out that's the out ramp. But there's I'm nothing at the front. Just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. <laughs> Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. Well, no one died. That's a... And now we have another mouth to feed. Whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. Yep, yep. Come on, focus, guys. I know we're improvising as we go, but let's remember that there is Pathfinder team protocol. Don't think I got that handbook. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? 
Because then, Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that? Yes. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket Command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Right. Reasons to, reasons to go off and... Re, reasons to leave the planet to get into the vault. One, we need to convince Ephra of getting in, that we can get in. Two, we need to find the scientist person, get them out of the cat, hopefully, to help us access the vault. And there was a third one that I've forgotten. Uh, or was it just a repeat of the first one? Because it was that important. Yeah, because we need to convince Ephra, basically. Thanks. I'll think about it. No. Uh, who me? Yes, it is. Don't know yet. Just be ready to go at a moment's notice. What? Got it? You bet. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. It still seems to be quite bickery. Quite a bit of bi bickering going on. In the, pl in the uh, old meetings, which kind of... You've got this great leader that people half the time respect and half the time don't care about. And it's like... Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so... emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. Why not scare him away, huh? Uh, what on earth is that? Oh, that's this thing! I don't get another one for another bit, anyway. Right. I think... Ooh, collect, collect rewards? I've got minerals. I'd like to know what they are, but whatever. Uh, uh, I think we wanted beryllium. Beryllium! I'm going to put the cut in here, and next time we will uh, probably run around and chat with people. Because there'll probably be a few things to say about bringing Jarl on board. Obviously, we're going to want to chat with Jarl himself. He might have us a few different things to say. Uh, various different things. And then we've got to think about which one we're going to go to. I think we've got another a quest for Hoval, but I might be wrong on that. It might have been Vold. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.